Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. Yes, it is Friday. It is April 24th. It is foggy. It is cloudy, but it is not raining. And therefore, it's a lovely day. So I hope your day is going well. I have, again, been in contact with more of you that are getting yourself successfully online. Good for you. Um, again, just shoot me a note. Also remember on the Google Classrooms, if you are checking Google Classrooms, which you should be doing, if you can, every day, leave me the little note. I have that little Google form that just you just mark present. Um, please, please just put your little check in so that way I know you're checking my Google Classroom. Also, the comment section, you don't have to do the comment section. It's there if you want to say, hey, if you're having a particular concern, if there's something you're worried about, something you don't understand, that's just a way for me to double check. I look at them through the day just to see if there's anything I need to answer. And if I answer, what I will probably do is email you back on your Comstock email. So double check. Anyway, uh, your reading for this week, just so you remember, um, in your textbook is we're talking about the early Roman civilization. Um, that is the peninsula of Rome. You can see that we have the orange. That's the Etruscans, sort of the earliest group and civilization there on the Italian peninsula. You have the Greeks. They were the colonizers. They came over and they end up being very, very important. They're the purple and then that little, little bitty green bit, that's the Latins, um, where the Latin language sort of came from. So they're going to be relatively important. So this is our early geography. You can see that the Italian peninsula looks like that boot kicking the soccer ball. All right. Now, what I want to talk about real quickly before fun stuff are the Etruscans. And the Etruscans are sort of an interesting group. Um, the Etruscans, the, the, the Romans got a lot from them. One of the biggest things is this idea of the arch. Okay, Greeks really didn't do arches. The Romans are the first time, the first place that we see these arches, and they're going to be able to make those into domes, which are sort of amazing. The other thing is this idea of a canuculus, and this is in your book, um, but it's these underground channels, and the Romans are going to use this idea. Oop, not going to let me do it. Anyway, this idea, you can see here's a canuculus here, um, that brings water into the cities. And these will end up being incredibly important because Rome is going to be a city of over a million people eventually. All right? And so this is going to be very, very key. Okay? The other thing that we see with the Etruscans, and they're all I'm going to talk about today, um, is some of their sports. And you have this picture in your textbook. Oops, sorry about my hand. Uh, you have this picture in your textbook. Oh, it doesn't, yeah, there we go. Um, is their chariot racing. And of course, the Romans are going to take over chariot racing. Uh, the other thing is gladiatorial combat. And I looked for pictures of Roman gladi or Etruscan gladiators, and I couldn't find much for Etruscan. Oops, I am making a mess over here. I'm going to have to go save my son's glasses that I've just knocked on the floor. Sorry. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, I will continue to look for good Etruscan pictures, but they were one of the groups that had the biggest impact on these early Romans. Okay. So just a little bit as you are looking at the textbook, whether you're doing chapter 32 or 35, um, we have these early influences on Rome, whether it's the Greeks, and we'll talk about the Greeks tomorrow, or the Etruscans or the Latins. They all bring their ideas and sort of combine to make what will become the Roman civilization. Remember that idea of cultural diffusion, um, cultures spreading their ideas from place to place and, and other civilizations taking those ideas and crafting them, making them their own. Okay, Ooh, enough, enough about history. So what do we wanna talk about today? Oh, guess what? You know, have I ever showed you guys, have I showed you how we keep our remote? This is, I don't, we, he doesn't really have a name, but look it in there. That's where we keep our remote. Isn't he cute? Yes. Um, that's We did that because the cats, not the current fat cat, Jazz doesn't need that, but our old cats used to run and they would leap across 
the that that council and they would slide it would be like a slide into base and they would take everything off the top and they broke a couple of remotes which was a little frustrating so we had to protect the remotes and we did so by putting it in the mouth of an american alligator because what better way to protect your remote so we're going to go outside today we're going to view what a normal spring day should be like Oh, look, this is a spring day. If you will notice, no snow. Oh, and if you listen, oh, there is our red-bellied woodpecker. Oh, that's the boy. I've discovered what the difference between the boy and the girl is. The boy has more of a red head. I really am sort of confused of why we call it red belly because it doesn't have any red on its belly at all. The red is all on its head, but there it is. I don't think I can make this bigger. Oh, I can. There he is. See him up there? See him sort of going into the tree? I am betting that he's got babies up there. Yeah, so pretty cool. I can't wait with the little guys. They come out. Woodpeckers like, oh, well, they like suet, which is here. And then this is suet as well. So we're going to have to get more suet because they use that quite a bit. Um, the rest of the bird seed, that's used by our finches and our cardinals and some of our other birds. So I'm wishing you guys the best of Friday. Um, I will be out delivering meals today. Oh, be quiet, birds. My goodness. I will be out delivering meals today. It's also my mom's birthday. So I will be going over and I, I got a like a tart. She likes cherry pie. So I've gotten her a cherry tart thing. Um, and we'll be dropping it off. I'm not supposed, of course, with us distancing and she's older. I don't want to go up and potentially uh, take any uh, germs up to her. So I'm not. So we will be singing happy birthday from outside her window. But anyway, I wish you the best of Friday. I hope to see some of you today. I think I'm coming out to Pavilion today. So you guys be good, be safe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.